Visual arts and art form intended to be appreciated or perceived primarily by sight. As stated by Hu in 2015, metaphors proliferate an artistic discourse in the world of art. A visual metaphor is an image that suggests a particular association, similarity, or analogy between two or more generally unconnected visual elements according to Mark Staff Brando. It is ideal to use metaphors in visual arts as it is significant for artists to come up with new possibilities and new conceptualizations. Artists are able to delve into the multiple layers of their creativity and add substance and depth to their artworks. Through metaphors, interpretation of artworks becomes personal which adds to beauty and mystery. However, it has been a challenge for artists to explicitly deliver the message of their work. The lack of understanding of metaphors by the audiences causes the audience to also lack understanding towards the message of the artist. And this is why it is important for metaphors to be studied. Visual arts without metaphors may appear as a complex concept because as what an art critic and historian Mark Staff Brandel thought, artistic success may be measured according to the pervasiveness of essential metaphors. Therefore, upon recognizing the real situation, the problem what multiple metaphors encapsulate the Bell series emerged. In order for the problem to be solved, this case study investigated the notable metaphors encapsulating the Bell series of Benkamp to give in-depth understanding of the messages behind and the significance of each throughout the years. This study is a qualitative research as it studies things in their natural settings, attempting to make sense of or interpret phenomena in terms of the meanings people bring to them. The researchers made use of a case study involving the analysis of the metaphors that encapsulate the Sabel paintings wherein Sabel, as a subject of art and the metaphors behind this series are the unique entities to be studied. The researchers applied purposive sampling in considering their co-researchers for the study. The criteria set for the co-researchers are as follows. 1. The author must have studied in the field of art or is an expert in the field of arts to be deemed as a reliable source. 2. The author or expert must have a background on Sabel or is associated to the Sabel series. The number of co-researchers is identified through saturation. Benedicto Ben Cab Cabrera played an important part in the study as he is the painter of the Sabel series, giving direct insights on the metaphors behind Sabel. Out of 10 collected documents on art criticism about the Sabel series, two were saturated and these were written by J. Bautista and Patrick D. Flores. Prior to data collection, the researchers have secured the consent of the co-researcher through email to conduct a video interview with the following conditions. 1. The focus of the interview will be on the art of the co-researcher. 2. During the interview and in the paper, no reference is made regarding the valuation and prices of the artworks of the co-researcher nor the cost to construct the museum and questions of a similar nature. 3. Personal questions confidential in nature will not be entertained. And 4. The researchers will send to the Benkab Museum a copy of the final paper within 10 days of submission to the school. Consent from the researchers' parents were also secured since the researchers of the study are all minors. In the conducted interview, the researchers obtained permission from the co-researcher to have audiovisual recordings, transcript files, and images of Sabel paintings which would only be accessed by the researchers. Permissions from the other co-researchers were also secured to access the art criticisms of Sabel from the art blog and journal to use as references in the study. For data collection, the media utilized for the study are the following, interview, art criticism, and open access journal. To decipher the notable metaphors encapsulating the Sabel series, content analysis and Whitcomb and Lesher's approach to data analysis were done on the articles made by J. Bautista and Patrick D. Flores and from the interview with Ben Cab. Content analysis is a research technique for making replicable and valid inferences from text or other meaningful matter to the context of their use. It is used to determine the concepts behind the data collected and classify, tabulate, and summarize these. From Whitcomb and Deschler's research with values inventory, they form a data analysis approach which is composed of three metaphoric and linguistic approaches, thematic, emotional, and cultural to expel more on the data analysis process. The contents of the answers from the co-researchers were analyzed through two processes in content analysis which are winnowing and clustering. The reduction of data was done through Whitcomb and Deschler's approach to data analysis. Statements were extracted from the co-researchers' answers that acknowledged the problem. 
The statements were winnowed into small manageable sets of themes that were then coded and noted with explanations to determine and expound the relation of the statements to the problem. These were then clustered into groups whose members must be similar with respect to an idea or metaphor. The groups are dissimilar or unrelated to one another. The greater similarity within members of the group and differences among groups, the more distinct is the clustering. Last was the reduction of data where further categorization was done based on Whitcomb and Deschler's approach to data analysis. Their metaphoric and linguistic approaches help in narrowing down and analyzing the clusters which form the thematic, emotional, and cultural metaphors encapsulated in the Sabel series. Making use of the whitcomb deschler case study analysis, this research explored the notable metaphors of the Sabel series by Benedicto Cabrera. A triangle of metaphors emerged. This study composed of three dimensions, specifically vacillation, the dominant emotion of the painting, evolution, the key theme, and nation, the cultural representation. These three dimensions triangulate each other. The dominant emotion of the series is vacillation a fluctuation or indecisive emotional change. Vacillation is metaphorically shown by the wavering emotions of Sabel as events happened during the time she was painted. Another metaphor exhibited by Sabel is evolution. Evolution depicts the transformation of Sabel from one form to another. Sabel may change in appearance and in style according to the period she was painted. Sabel is also seen as a social historical reflection of the nation. Nation refers to how Sabel not only embodies the evolution of a period, but also how she represents the state of the individual. The metaphoric triangle of Sabel series exhibits the recurring interconnected metaphors that make up Sabel. Starting with evolution, Sabel undergoes the process of transformation through different periods. As Sabel continues to evolve, her emotions also change in relation to the events occurring in the nation. The emotion of the painting reflects the theme and the cultural representation of the series. The earlier Sabels embodied the chaotic atmosphere of society where Sabel was seen as lonely and desolated, then she was later reinvented into a more glamorous figure as reflected by people's desire for aesthetics becoming an icon for fascination. Hence, Sabel is a mirror of the history of the nation. She reflected the struggles between social classes, protests and rebellion, and evolution within the nation. Furthermore, it is significant to note that the three dimensions are interrelated, hence they influence each other. Overall, this case study produced the metaphor triangle of Sabel series, a model which shows the three notable thematic, cultural, and emotional metaphors pertaining to the Sabel series. Vacillation, Evolution, and Nation the findings of this paper expounded the metaphors encapsulating Sabel, reflecting the social conditions of the country throughout the time she is being painted, her evolving image and style, and the desolation, devastation, and madness she exhibits. Significantly, the study will contribute to the making of a coffee table book that will showcase the messages behind Sabel as a combination of Ben Cap's humanism and aesthetic principle as a reflection of his experiences in painting Sabelle.